Now, you did not purchase the most recent dog, correct? That was no. your dog. You bought and paid for your dog called... Eleanor, or Ellie, for short. And there's Eleanor, named after Eleanor of Aquitaine. That's right. Very powerful queen. A queen who, in her wake, I should tell you, left a good deal of mayhem in this country. Oh, yes. Something very similar about this dog, correct? <laughs> now, in the first five and a half months that the dog was in the house, what sort of damage did Ellie cause? Um, she occasionally chewed chair legs, skirting boards, um, pretty much anything wooden, uh, doormat. Now, would she do that when she was on her own or only when <laughs> she was left? Um, mostly on, when she's left. Now, what's the maximum time you would leave her for? Half an hour at the most. So even within half an hour? Understood. Within five minutes. <laughs> now, I presume that you knew this, Mum, correct? Uh, <laughs> I knew you had to keep an eye on her, and I still do. Now... Let's have a look at some of the damage that Ellie caused to the skirting board. It's serious damage. A nibble. That's a nibble! <laughs> <laughs> Would you call that a nibble, Gillian? Um, no. Five and a half months ago, you moved out. Correct. Now, three months ago, as I understand it, you were in hospital again for two nights on this occasion. Uh, correct. And I think there was some sort of complication with your hip surgery. Is yes. that right, madam? Yep. What happened? Well, they just kept me in over two nights because I wasn't working, it wasn't working properly. And I came home after two nights and back home again. Understood. Whilst you were in hospital, did you, Jonathan, go and stay at Mum's house? I, I pop in on a daily basis to the house. Well, Mum was in hospital. Yep. When you say popped in, did you go and stay at the house or did you just pop in? Uh, I just pop in normally. Now, you popped in when she wasn't there and you popped in with Ellie, correct? Correct. Understood. Now, you got home. As I understand it, you got in and you saw your lovely sofa, correct? Well, to be honest, I didn't see it. It was covered in a brown cloth. <laughs> when you removed it, it was a bit of a voila moment, correct? It was. Because what did you discover underneath? A hole. Mm. Let's see the hole, madam. Well, it was a split first, and then it became a hole. <laughs> <laughs> She's had several goes at it since. Now, that's the difficulty, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have given Jonathan permission to leave his property, Ellie, in your house unsupervised? Would you have given him permission to do that? I wouldn't have given permission, but it's not the first time. But it's the first time she's done any damage. Understood. Now, it seems to me it's only fair for us to meet the culprit. I presume she's here. Can we say hello? Oh, please do. <laughs> Could you go and get Ellie? Excuse me, Her Majesty Eleanor of Aquitaine. <laughs> <laughs> When you arrived back, there was a hole. So would you say that the state of the sofa was it was already ruined, pretty much, at that stage? Oh, yes. Thank you. Ellie! <laughs> Your Majesty, in. Ellie! There you go. Ellie! Perfect. Ellie, do come say hello. <laughs> no, it's going to be a <laughs> Ellie, can you come say hello? Oh, she's intelligent. You're quite right. <laughs> can I say hello? She's OK? Me. She's very yeah. intelligent. Oh, she just sneezed on my leg. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> Oh, darling. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> I'm still here, so... <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Jesus. <laughs> Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> Can you look over there? Look. <laughs> <laughs> so a shame I don't have my wig, really, but there you are. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. You're right, she's certainly intelligent and very sweet. Now, the reason I wanted to meet Ellie is because sometimes when you meet a dog, it's immediately obvious that they're a liability, do you see? Mm -hmm. And others, it's not immediately obvious. It's quite clear that it's not immediately it's obvious when... It's the most appealing animal you've ever had. Sorry? It's the most appealing animal. She's lovely. Now, what's the damage to the sofa, madam? 
two much? massive great big holes. It cost me about six... It was just under £700. Pounds it was £695, pounds, in yeah. fact. That was nine years ago. No, six years ago. Six years ago. For the avoidance of doubt, in my judgment, it would be roughly the same to get like for like today. Question I have is that at some point, did Jonathan offer to replace the sofa? Yes. And you haven't. Now, the question is this. I need to understand whether the time when you were in hospital was... I asked you a question whilst um, Ellie was being brought in, but it's a very important one for my legal judgment. When you came back from hospital and the sofa was already chewed, was it damaged beyond repair at that stage? Yes. Understood. So but it was not as bad as it is now. In other words, it was already damaged, and so by that time, when he would visit subsequently with Ellie, you just let her carry on with No. It. Oh, she so how did it get in. so bad? Oh, she can sneak in. <laughs> I mean, yesterday before we left, the moment she comes into my house, I think she must have buried a bone or something in there because it's a homing pigeon. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.